Ciao, yeah. This is Ellen. Ciao. In Italian, hello. In English, and good morning. Buongiorno. And uh, for today's video, guys, I am going to bake this um, pasta frolla or cake marmalade. And uh, in this uh, vlog, I am going to do a another twist and another uh, marmalade flavor which made by yours truly Ellen and um, basically guys the ingredients are flour and um, I am using a uh, what we called in Italian is a farina zero zero tipo zero zero it's a this um, marvelous um, flour is so good uh, it's a therefore a derivative of cereal processing and a high in carbohydrates starts of course and fiber and of course yes you are already seen in the videos all those processing and then steps by steps procedures and um yes i am not going to deliberate one by one about the ingredients because i have already made a vlog with this and you can check it out on one of the vlogs i up uploaded and yes yes guys and uh i had a mango so i made this homemade mango with a just um slice uh, i'm what i mean is um squeezing it and um three spoons of white sugar and of course just uh of lime lemon juice with that and just stir that for about 15 minutes as you can see and then when it comes to dance so it's ready so as you can see on the beautiful uh, outcome of my homemade mango you know for the next uh, flavor that I'm going to to include is this gorgeous goat cheese and goat cheeses are made in a wide variety of styles from soft fresh cheese to hard aged cheese so basically guys this is cow's milk and goat's milk and they are having similar overall fat contents so i just have a go uh, mixing you know squeezing it And then for the second stop is I am um, uh, seasoning this uh, lemon to add the balance of the citric acidity to the to the goat's cheese. And make sure, guys, that you are not going to peel the white skin because that's a better part. And uh, the third ingredients is this gorgeous sugar three spoons and then with this uh, chocolate chips just combine to everything together and uh, make sure they are well balanced um, till they become a you know a, a soft texture So after resting this uh, little baby princess in the fridge, guys, our dough, of course, our main ingredients for the baking, and um, just put in the fridge for about 30 minutes, rest it well, and then slice. And uh, into the baking pan with along with a paper baking pan, of course, just spread in the surface all those butter to avoid the dough sticking on the baking pan you don't want that yeah and a little bit uh, dough part and then we're gonna need this just spread some flour and, and now you are ready for the battle of yes make sure that your muscle is uh, strong because this really need to you have to work very hard to flatten the the dough uh, well balanced for about I don't know maybe 10 
cm as you can see 10 cm or probably 15 cm and this is one of my favorite part guys they are not sticking into the baking paper and uh, yeah I, I had learned this technique from my mother-in-law my Italian the one that uh, teach me how to make a perfect uh, pasta frolla dough so there you go guys it's so easy guys it's it's not difficult and um, that's it that's how I trick my my um putting the dough into the baking pan and just uh, flatten that and uh, remove the excess of the side of the border So after flatten the surface guys, just uh, pinch some um, tinidor, what do you call this, fork to, to breathe. And the first uh, flavor that I'm going to put is this gorgeous A orange. And yes, guys, uh, our uh, ricotta flavor along with uh, chocolate chips. And of course our homemade mango by yours truly and I would like I uh, I wanted to surprise my husband about this because he doesn't know that I make my own homemade mango so he will check it out but uh, of course uh, dumb or stupid he is he doesn't even know how to recognize the flavors the and yes the final touch guys the toppings so it's so easy to make guys just roll it and roll it keep rolling Voila, it's ready now guys and ready to bake for about 180 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. And then I have uh, the rest of the dough guys, I am making a muffin along with uh, different kind of flavors for my uh, filling as, I, as you can see a while ago. so i think this is um i did uh, many times so i am i am a hundred and one percent confident guys so there you are guys take a look have a look the um marmalade is just you know boiling 
and uh, about the muffin about 15 minutes 180 degrees into the oven and there you are it voila wow so one of the technique guys uh, rest the how I make my breakfast and um, I'm not gonna eat a toasted bread with Nutella because I make this a homemade muffin for me of course but half of this because I don't like breakfast guys I just love coffee or tea and some piece of orange but depend with it if I'm uh, going to show you what I'm going to make for my uh, complimentary um, perfect pair of this gorgeous muffin so I will show you tada it voila this is one piece slice for my husband's breakfast and there you are So for the muffin guys, I am making a cappuccino and I have a, a very lovely gorgeous uh, Delonghi guys coffee machine in here. So I really hope so guys that you enjoy my baking vlog and how I make my breakfast here in Italy. Thank you so much. Mega love to everybody. Mwah. Goodbye. Love you. Oh.